If you're new to paddleboarding and looking to learn and improve, then this video is for you. Here are five common beginner mistakes. Number one, holding the paddle backwards. The first and most common mistake beginners make is holding the paddle incorrectly. Many intuitively hold the paddle with the blade angle facing towards them, thinking it will grab more water and propel them forward faster. However, it actually scoops and pushes the water up instead of efficiently powering you forward. The correct way to hold the paddle is with the blade angle facing forward or away from you. This allows you to push the water straight back, conserving energy, going faster, and preventing any shoulder or arm injuries. A few other things to help you remember which way to hold your paddle. Some paddle handles have grooves for your fingers, so if you're holding the paddle incorrectly, it should feel really awkward in the palm of your hand. Some paddle designs have a logo or a spine on the blade of the paddle. These are typically placed on the forward-facing side of the paddle and should be pointed away from you. Number two. Paddling straight. Another common mistake is struggling to paddle in a straight line. To improve your technique, place the entire blade of the paddle in the water as close to your board as possible. Keep the paddle as vertical as possible as you pull it back towards you. Maintain close proximity to the side of the board throughout the stroke. Avoid angling your paddle and creating a C shape in the water with your blade. Remember to keep your bottom arm straight and your top arm over your head and across your body. Adjust the length of your paddle if you're having difficulty vertically planting your paddle with the blade fully submerged. Avoid shifting your weight and putting pressure on the foot of the side you're paddling on. Center your weight with each paddle stroke so your board is level in the water. An angle on the board will slowly turn to the side you're paddling on. Number three. Not having the proper safety equipment or knowledge of local laws and regulations. For example, there are specific requirements when paddleboarding in Canada. Check out my video for legal requirements to paddleboard in Canada and for a full list of recommended safety items. At minimum, you'll need a leash that will help keep your paddleboard with you at all times, a life jacket or PFD, personal flotation device, this could save your life, a communication device like a cell phone that's fully charged and in a waterproof secure case and a sound signaling device like a whistle. Safety should always be top priority regardless if your local area has rules and regulations. If you're liking this video and finding it helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Number four, checking and reading the weather conditions. Always check and understand the weather conditions before heading out on your paddle adventure. Use dedicated apps or websites like Windy or Windfinder to determine the wind speed and direction, the swell, and applicable, the currents and tides. Always assess the risks of the area you're paddling in. Taking into account the weather forecast for the duration of your paddle, water temperatures, and boating traffic. Stay informed and prepare to ensure a safe and enjoyable paddling experience. Number five, the assumption you have to stand up. Paddleboarding can be whatever you want it to be. It should be fun and not stressful. I often love to just go out, sit on my paddleboard to enjoy a sunset, a sunrise, take in the beautiful surroundings and enjoy the feeling of being out on the water. If you are looking to stand, check out my video, How to Paddleboard for Beginners for useful tips to stand up and balance. That's a wrap. Get out there, be safe, have fun and happy adventuring.